Unfortunately, take two of this doctor did not go as planned. Um, we did get another diagnosis for sure, but... How do you feel about this doctor? I don't know. I haven't met him yet. It's a girl. I haven't met her yet. I'm very positive. <laughs> do not put that on your blog. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hey guys. So it is almost one. Um, I did get home. We did see the doctor. Basically what happened was we waited for about an hour and a half to see her. Got there super early. Um, this is the office that messed up my appointment last week and sent me in with the endocrinologist rather than a rheumatologist. So we did see a rheumatologist today, so that part went as planned. Um, unfortunately, she didn't really have many answers for me, so it was kind of like one of those pointless doctors that I didn't need to go see. I could have seen the ones that were already scheduled that I really needed to see. Um, but I had to go for her to clear me for my brain and neck surgery. So she did clear me. That's all good. Um, now I am clear to do any of the options that he had mentioned. And I'm pretty sure we're going to do more than just the removal of the bottom of my skull just because of the pain and everything else and we'd rather get it all done at once rather than go back in and do it later um it's just a lot easier on everyone and the recovery time and the recovery process so I'm one of those people that wants to get it done all at the same time and get it over with um so i see him on the 29th we are actually going for a second opinion neurosurgeon on the 22nd um that wants to be continued because i don't really want to go see one but it was recommended by some people that you see a second option. So I absolutely love the neurosurgeon that we are seeing. So I'm kind of like, eh, don't want to go. But we'll see what happens with that. Um, I did get all of my, my testing done and the results from the radiologist. So it's three MRIs that I'm bringing on the 29th, one CAT scan, one set of x-rays and one body and slash bone density scan. So I have all that. The results of that through the radiology department did say that I definitely have the malformation. I also have spinal stenosis going on as well as arthritis and degenerative stuff going on. There's a lot of big words in there that I really don't know. I googled them and yeah. So when I know what they actually mean and I can kind of break them down into simpler words, I will let you guys know. <laughs> um, but for now, that's kind of what's going on with my neck and my brain. And the only kind of positive thing that did come out of this doctor today was that she did diagnose me with fibromyalgia, which if you watched my first video, uh, we were kind of iffy and on the fence. We thought I had it. We didn't know if I had it. Then we thought I had it again. So it is confirmed. We are doing labs just to triple, triple check, but based on my pain and the treatment that I'm doing right now, it's already as if I'm being treated as a fibro patient, um, just because of all the pain meds and the schedule and all of that stuff. So it is a little bit disappointing because I kind of thought if I had that diagnosis that there would be other things that could be done to help stabilize and control the pain um, that doesn't look like that's the case so it's a little concerning because you see a lot of stuff on the news and the media and there's a lot of addiction issues and um, a lot of the meds that I'm actually prescribed are all over the news and it's, it's scary so we're not sure what's going to happen with that I do have to talk to my doctors um, just because I don't want any issues and I don't want anything mixing or I don't know what's going to happen so we're checking on that stuff um, heart wise we're still waiting for insurance to approve for tests to be considered a POTS patient um, 
I think that's basically everything that I, she did briefly discuss um, since I had talked to my gastroenterologist about this, um, my medication intolerance. So that could be the reason that most of these meds are starting to not work. With my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and my gastroparesis, it's kind of like a flip-flop. So sometimes the medications that I take in don't work. Um, and it almost seems like a waste to take them if they're not doing anything for me. And we think that could be because, I don't know how to explain it the best way, because my gastroparesis, I either can't keep food down, or when I do keep food down, it stays in my stomach for a really long time because my stomach is paralyzed. Now, with Ehlers-Danlos, that's something where it absorbs very, very quickly. So we did start to notice this in August when I went to the ER and they gave me morphine for my pain. And it was a significantly high dose and it had worn off within a half hour, whereas a normal person, you would have the feeling of feeling better with two hours worth. So I was not allowed to get any more pain meds, even though they'd worn off within a half hour. So we're kind of at that line where we need someone that can kind of fix that, uh, think about what's best for me. We've tried oral, we've tried pills that dissolve, we've tried actual pills. So we're kind of at that line where we don't know what's going on with that. Um, she didn't really have much to say about that. I did book a geneticist with Einstein. It's a little far out. Um, so with all that stuff going on, we're not really sure what's happening next. I think the next big drastic thing that's going to be going on is the brain, neck, that whole area procedure. Um, but again, I don't have any other information on that. So this may be a little bit of a quicker video um, because I just don't have that much to update you on. I don't have many doctors. I have physical therapy this week. Um, but other than that, it's just kind of maintaining, controlling, keeping the cycle, calling more doctors, scheduling appointments, all that kind of stuff. So the next video I make, which I'm hoping will be this weekend, um, will be a medical video, but not a medical update. So it'll probably be on Ehlers-Danlos um, specifically or something else. Um, just to get more awareness out there about certain things because I can say all these medical updates and a lot of people may not have any idea what any of it means so unless you're going through it or you've seen someone with it it's kind of hard to relate um, once you know more about it you can be like oh well I actually may know someone that has that because not everyone is really open to coming out and saying this kind of stuff so I may make one like that um, to be on the lookout. And with that, I will leave you. Thank you for following me on my fight to freedom.